This video covers the staff, bass clef. But first, a joke. How do you fix a broken brass instrument? With a tuba glue. The bass clef is also known as the F clef, and it looks like this. The bass clef gives a landmark on the note F, which is the fourth line of the bass clef. One, two, three, four. And to draw the bass clef, you're going to start with a dot on the fourth line. After you do that, then you're going to curve it around. Make sure you touch the top line, but you end in the first space. Then make sure you have your two dots on either side of the F line, which is the one, two, three, fourth line. Notes are named after the first seven letters of the alphabet, A through G. Now, because we know where F is, right here, then we can figure out the rest of them. If you are moving higher on the staff, you go forward in the alphabet. So we know this is F, so we, could, we do A, B, C, D, E, F, F, G, and then we start over again on A. We know this is F, we can also go lower on the staff. If you are going lower on the staff, go backwards in the alphabet, F, E, D, C, B, A, and then you go before A is G. Try drawing the base clef signs. You're first you're gonna trace, and then you're going to do five more of your own. These are not nearly as difficult to make as the treble clef. The treble clef has a lot more steps. The bass clef is a little more straightforward. Just make sure you are checking that your dot starts on the fourth line and your two dots go on either side of the fourth line. Think of it in those spaces, but what it's doing is it is giving the landmark four F, one, two, three, four, five. So I did four. Now, I'm sorry, I did five. So they're asking you to draw a bass clef at the beginning of the staff. And what that does is that makes sure you know what the landmark notes are so you can start writing those notes. So we're gonna draw a bass clef at the beginning of the staff on the fourth line, curve it around, give it the two dots. Now we're going to name this. This one's an easy one because it's there. If you, if you are not sure what the names of these notes are, then you can use the notes up here to look at, but you also can get really good at going forward and backward in the alphabet. And you can, you'll get to that point. There's no way, you're never going to do this one time and then know every single one. You'll have to go through and you'll have to practice. I went fast, those are the answers. Now they're wanting you to draw a bass clef at the beginning of this staff again, and now you're going to draw the notes. Don't forget that your notes should be semi-oval, it's kind of oval. If it's a space line, it's entirely in the space. If it's a line note, there's the line going straight through it. And it says if there's more, if a note can be written more than one place, choose one, just do one. So this F I know is there and EFG goes forward and then I can just go F G A. Now I have to figure out, now that A, make sure you come up top and bottom. D, I could go back but I'm, I've been doing this for many, many years. And so I can do it while I'm talking and you will probably have to concentrate, but that's okay. Here's one that you have two places. I already chose one over here. I'm gonna choose a different one. And um, you will get used to this. Now, if you are a female, you will not use the bass clef as much unless you play a, an instrument that uses both the bass and the treble. Boys and my males, you'll do more of them. Here's the finished page for the staff bass clef. 